What's up YouTube, Jamie the Kid Zero Zero here, coming to you with a one-off segment, which I'm going to be calling something along the lines of Siding a Second Deck. Uh, that's essentially what this segment is going to be, again one-off because I can only make one of it. Um, it is the idea of instead of playing a conventional side deck with options and outs to various different decks in the format, it seizes the initiative of playing a main deck which runs as an engine well, sorry, a, a variable main deck, and then siding a second engine. So, what I'm going to suggest, uh, pro before I go into it, props kind of to Ping Zhao, the winner of YCS Brain, because I saw him testing a similar thing like this, and it kind of inspired me to take it a little bit further and make this video. Um, I've created four side decks here, four complete engines that all work together with a 25-card main deck, which I'm about to comment, with, uh, comment on. I have thought this through, there are a couple of disadvantages of playing it, and as I go through it, I will tell you them. But the engines I've managed to come up with have been Insectors, Windups, Evolve, it's a Evolves, it hasn't worked as well as the rest of these, but I thought I'd include it in the video to give more content, and Rescue Rabbit. Um, Ping himself tested Insectors in the side of Rabbit. Siding out of Rabbit into Insectors, which is a perfect switch because they're so different, and people side in for Rabbit and will be completely blown away by the Insectors. Uh, but anyway, let's get into the main first, and then I'll show you the sides that you can swap in. The main deck plays for its monster lineup three tour guides from the Underworld a Torvast and a Sangan. You should see if that's still in focus because this. I haven't had the camera back for long, and I'm still trying to work out where, where it's looking. Uh, the tour guides promote almost every engine in this that I'm about to talk about, bar evils. So they are a natural choice, and they are very splashable. So it is very it is for that fact that I kept them in the main for this because it works with almost any deck you put it in to some point. And insectors, wind ups, and rabbit all play them and all thrive off of them. So the tour guides were an easy choice. Oh, drop them. Uh, then I played the two Vela, which I always play, and the Gores, because they work in any deck, pretty much. Uh, for the spells, we have the Monster Reborn, the Storm, the Dark Hole, the Mind Control, which might come out, but I like the Mind Control at the moment. Book of Mood, Gold Sark, because you're cutting out on a few things, or maybe taking stuff down to, you know, down in number. So you really, you really want to still have a way to get to the stuff you need, so Gold Sark helps like that. And I also couldn't find a space to put this in the side uh, and then Avarice um, otherwise I play the three MSTs um, and then for the ex the the traps it's just the standard trap lineup that I play the two Phoenix Chain, the two Torrential, the two Warnings and the Judgment um, let's actually get into the sides before I actually talk about the mm, the extra now, as I said before, the whole objective of this deck is you would take two of these sides, you would take one and main deck it, and then take a second one and side deck it. You'd then be able to easily take out that 15 card engine and side in the other 15 card engine you've built. Again, you really want to do decks which switch out and complement, uh, switch out and would be unaffected by whatever your opponent would side in for the main. So say you were playing Rabbit, they side out all their Veilers and stuff like that. If you side in Insectors, it's going to be great. Anyway, the first engine I came up with, well, the first engine I'm going to show you is Windups. Uh, of course, you'd play the 3 Shark, the 3 Rat, uh, the Hunter, my 1 Rabbit, and the Kitten for the Monsters, then the 3 Factories, and these are two magicians. I can't find my other magicians at the moment. But that's essentially the complete engine. It gives you everything you need. Magician, magician. The factories are really great because you can search your stuff off of tour guide and things like that. You always get to these. You get to your Zen Mighty off of tour guide. Uh, Kitten deals with so many problems. Rabbit being rabbit. I need more rabbits, but I only have the one. I only want the one in this kind of engine. The hunter for the loop. The rats for the loop. And the fact that it's a tour guide from the grave. Sorry, that... That was a shock. Uh, and then the sharks, just because they're absolutely nuts, and I love them at three. Um, next up, let's do let's do rabbit. Yeah, because everyone loves rabbit. Of course, for the rabbit engine, we play the triple rescue rabbit because it's rescue rabbit, and you need it for the engine. Next up, we play the compulsory normal monsters, which are really it's, this is probably the easiest engine to build because it's quite simply the nine cards for the the monsters, and then the very exclusive cards to the deck. Being the three Gwyvers, 
and the three lance. Game three, it might even be an idea, depending on what you're playing, to leave in the Gwybers, because it's quite unexpected, and you are going to be... Um, Extra decking the Evol Zars anyway because there's no room in the sides to take the Evol Zars out, and I never, f I never felt the need to change the ex to change the extra deck anyway. I found the space; it was a bit cramped, but that's the price of this kind of idea that I'm showing you. Uh, then next, let's move on to Insectors. This engine was a little bit more difficult to come up with, but at the same time, uh, like I found it easy enough. Play the three centipede. I like it at three. A lot of kind of half and half decks play two. I love it at three. The three dragonfly, the three hornet, I'm just making sure I'm actually still in camera. Yeah, I'm still in camera. Um, next up I play the two hopper. Some people still don't like these cards, even though, have you seen all the hype for Insector Gruff? This card operates the same way as Insector Gruff does, I feel. It's not as good because of the level bump thing, but it's the very fact that you can ditch this and get your search for your hornet. In a deck like this, it's really quite helpful. And then of course you play the one mantis. I still play the one Dark Arm because I managed to find enough room for it. I didn't want to play Call of the Haunted in this side. And then for the spell to play Allure and fo uh, Foolish. Because you're already on your tour guides, you've got lots of Darks in here. And Foolish just gets you to your Hornets quicker. Then finally, for the final engine, I'll go on to Evols. Um, this was a little bit more difficult because you need the three Westlow. Everything in this is very compulsory. Uh, the three Najasho. The three Serato. And then I had to cut the Diplos because of the room, so we're only playing the Volcanoes. Um, so you really want to kind of get to those Serratos early, or get them in the grave for the Volcano plays, because again, this this is probably the the engine I'd be least likely to side, unless I was, say, siding it into Rabbit and taking some of the Rabbit stuff out. But I still don't know. And then we played 3 Evo Force because you've got to play that. And then I had to cut down to 1 Econ because I just couldn't find the room for the other two. So those are the engines, guys. Um... I'm going to go on to the, uh, the extra now. Um, if anyone has any questions about this, sorry, while I'm setting up, please feel free to ask. It's just an idea, and if anyone has any ideas for their own side engines and they'd like to let me know so I can do a second segment, that'd be really great. But let's get into the extra that I came up with. This extra fits all of the engines. No matter what engines you choose to put in the deck, this extra deck will work, and then you can edit it yourself. I only play one Synchro for Stardust Dragon, simply because I run the Gores and the Veilers, and Stardust Dragon has always won me games off of the Veiler Gores play, so I can't take this out. The threes, I play Leviathan Dragon, Levier, and uh, Zen Mains. Then, for, because I play the Wind-Up Engine, I play the Triple Wind-Up Carrier Zen Mighty. I always found room for this, I never, I never had trouble with this, so... Um, I play the one Utopia for my fours. And I play the Utopia Ray. Uh, the Ray works because you're playing the Mind Control in main, so it gives you a reason to have the Mind Control other than just easy Xyzers. And then I play the One Zen Meister because I love it versus Goes and Match, and it's also part of the uh, Michael Smith Grant combos for Evils, so I love it like that. Uh, and then I play the aforementioned Evolzars and the Dolka. And then because I have the Wind Up Engine in here and I can make a 5, I play the One Tyrus. I didn't feel the need for the Adreus. Or the Zen Mayo because I felt they would waste space in the extra. Because, of course, I'm trying to make this fit everything. Um, but, yeah, guys, that's all I have, like, built to show you. Um, essentially, and ultimately, this is just a prototype idea to really get the drop on your opponent. And then, probably, you know, the trick is doing this again game three without your opponent realising. So, you know, taking out 15 cards and taking your side and then... You'll have to do some sleight of hand so they don't know which one you're putting back in. But it's just that very fact that you can side out a whole deck so the game two, their sided cards are either useless or just bad, you know, not useful or just bad in general. And that was kind of my objective with doing this because when I sided against Ping game two, after he, after he, play, after he beat me with Rabbit game one, I sided out stuff like all my Veilers because Veilers useless against Rabbit. I put in my maxis and stuff like that, and to come up against Insectors with no Veilers, maxis, and like Reapers, cards which are just so dead against, you know, so good against the Rabbit matchup, but so dead against the Insector matchup, it's just so debilitating, and I swiftly lost game two from there. And it's the fact that if you can win game one off of pure skill, and then win game two out of the subterfuge that a play like this gains you, Siding in these engines, I, I'm a massive fan of siding the Insector engine into any deck because it's just so unexpected 
in this current format because so many people side against certain things. I really do feel that this is a good play and it's a really good idea. So I'd like you guys as my challenge, you know, if I'm allowed to issue challenges, I'm only a little YouTuber, to try testing this, see how it works for you. Tell me what you think about this. Tell me what other engines you would put into the side and side out your main engine. So tell me what your 15 cards would be for both your main and your side. And, you know, let's see if we can get a bit of a discussion going. I really like this idea. I think it can be good. Let's see what you guys, the community, come up with. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys in the comment box below. Have a good one. Uh, also, just to say, uh, Underworld 6667's competition, I got into the second part by default, because everyone else got DQ'd. Um, I've already come up with my idea for the card. It's going to be for Nordics. That's all I'm saying for now. I'm in the process of creating the artwork. So I will be back with that when they release the video. So guys, if you could go check out Underworld 6667's channel, and when my video is up there, if you could give it a like, that would be absolutely amazing, because I really want to kind of get somewhere in this competition. But otherwise, I'll see you guys when I do. Like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Jamie the Kid, out.